Terrence Bud Crawford talks about his resume opponents and fans berating his opponent selection, calling them bums after he beats them. Also talks about his prediction on Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor and says he wants to see Canelo Alvarez versus that boy David Benavidez, just like I told y'all. Stay tuned to this video. Smash the like button. We work. You had to step up a little. But what about the person that lose? He still ranked high? I don't get it. Somebody got to help me get it. Because every fight that I didn't fought, except the Khan fight, everybody was just like, man, you're going to ride watch Khan. But every fight that I didn't fought in a welterweight division, everybody was like, man, you're going to lose. You're too small. I don't know. Some people, there's a lot of people that, you know what I mean, thought I was going to win, but how I win, that's when they say, oh, well, this guy's a bum. This guy is this. This guy is that. Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody. Ha! I ain't fought nobody. Dang. Everybody I fight, they, they say something bad about them after I fight them. Gamboa was too small. How was Gamboa too small when he just won a title uh, it, prior to fighting me? Barry John was too small. I went up and wait and, and fought him. And he just fought Lamont Peterson that everybody praised when somebody beat Lamont Peterson. Uh, good fighter, though. But, you know, people used him as a as you know what I mean beat Lamont Peterson, you you the shit. But I don't I don't worry about it. I just laugh because I just be having to remind y'all what y'all be saying that don't make sense to me. Like Vic talk way down on Victor Postal, like a lot of y'all writers. But prior to that he made Danny Garcia pay him aside money and move up and wait because he didn't want to fight him damn y'all forgot about that then what i do to him then y'all get mad and say oh he just one dimension and this and that, that but then he fight josh taylor and ramirez and them fights was closer than the mother i honestly think him and ramirez could have went either way or it was a draw because he was popping Ramirez with that fucking jab in right hand. But I ain't gonna get I ain't gonna get no credit till I'm done with boxing. For real, I'm telling you, all these fighters that I have fought, when I they wasn't no bum level in them. Everybody bums in everybody eyes. Guys, good fighters. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, sometimes, you know, you'll look at a fighter and you'll be like, man, that dude can fight. He really can fight. Then when he fight another fighter that really, really can fight, you'd be like, fuck. Man, he was weak. He won all that. But in reality, you just got to get that dude that he fought some credit because he was just the better man that night. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. Both of them motherfuckers can fight. You know what I mean? But one got to win, one got to lose. But you can't say the next motherfucker's a bum because he lost. Put up a good fight. Shit, look, look at Sean Porter and Errol Spence. Nobody gave Sean Porter credit. But when I kept telling everybody it's a 50-50 fight, people was like, all right, Errol Spence going to knock Sean Porter out. And this and that and that. All right, fight come down to everybody. Sean Porter, Sean Porter. See how quick they switch up. What? I don't know. I'm bored, y'all. I'm going to watch some movies or something.
the the Red Bull. We shall see. <laughs> ah. Some people's styles is ugly, but they get the job done. Caleb, hey, Caleb can fight too. Caleb can fight. Benavidez can fight. Uh, Steven Nelson. You know, I got to put my bro in there. Uh, yeah, man, they, they can fight, man. I want to see Caleb Plant fight Benavidez, though. That's going to be a good fight. That's going to be a good fight. I really want to see this. Hey, no cap. Benavidez against Canelo. I'm calling it right now. That's going to be one of the, the top fights if they ever fight. Tell me. Benavidez is fast. He can punch. He's strong. And he's durable. And I don't think Canelo going to be able to just do what he want with him. Shakur, of course he the truth. That's my little brother. I'm going out. I'm actually going out there tomorrow. Check on him. You know, I keep my young fella, you know, sharp. He always sharp though. That's one dude that 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 that's a student of the game. That's you know, he's gonna be the next pound for pound fighter and the best fighter in the world. Watch. I keep saying it. Keep saying it. But he is though. Ain't nobody messing with him. Tia Fimo not messing with him. Uh, Devin, that's my boy. Him and Devin going, if they ever fight, they going to have a chess match. Um, I don't think Tank messing with him. Uh, Gary Russell Jr. ain't messing with him. Uh, who else down there? Who else, who else down there? I don't know. I don't know. Jake Paul McGregor. I got McGregor. I got McGregor. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.